So, what wine are you going to open tonight? I'm not really sure yet. It depends on what I am eating for dinner. My wife likes beef and red wine, but I have been thinking about whether eating beef is ethical or not. Ethical schmethical. Next, you will be telling me that foie gras is animal cruelty. It sounds like your wife has bigger balls than you. What wife? I'm not married. But you said. Besides, I also have to think about which of the three bottles of wine to serve, what to drink before dinner, what to have with dinner, and what to explore after we are done eating. I am an explorer. You know? Isn't that a bit much? To each his own. I just want to fit in with the crowd on the wine board. I really want to put my new Coat 38 corkscrew to the test. I read online that it is the best of the best. Oh, really? How much did it cost? It was only four hundred and fifty dollars. For a corkscrew? You are a fucking idiot. It's what all the top sommeliers use. I got a good price for it online. You always were a douchebag. Didn't you learn your lesson about buying online when your credit card was breached at wine library? I take it you are no longer on a self-imposed wine buying moratorium. Come now, that's just something people say in online wine forums when they are broke. It sounds much nobler than admitting they have no money. Get this, I just flipped some double 100.2007 Schrader CCS that I burned a guy on at Wine Berserkers when he wanted to trade me some 2007 Scarecrow straight up. The 100 point scores came out and the wine skyrocketed so I blew him off and sold them to someone else for a buttload of dough. I have lots of money now. You wine geeks are something else. Where are you taking your date for dinner tonight? I was thinking about the French Laundry, but I hear that Thomas Keller has jumped the shark. So maybe not. Besides, the last time I dined there the waiter had the audacity to remove the empty wine bottle and glasses from the table before I had a chance to tell him to leave them. You poor thing you. I would have outed them publicly. Sure, that's easy for you to say. Next thing you know they will be posting an open letter to the community crying about the unfairness of life. I can completely relate to the angst. I once played the whole cult wine thing, joking to be on the best list, writing the wineries with stories of how much their wine changed my life, all that crap. I was the list. It reached the boil when the one list that I'd been trying so long to get on but couldn't, I finally got on. Harlan's list, with the 1998 vintage. Bill sold me a notion of that crappy vintage, me thinking it was earning me a big allocation. Sold me a bunch of the crappy 99 and 2002, under my mistaken assumption that it meant anything to them. When I got offered two stinking bottles of the venerable, read highly scored, 2001, I came to the realization that I was a sucker and I was getting bent out of shape about points and grape juice. Really? Then what did you do? I dumped every frickin' stupid ass list I was on except Rocchioli, great folks, great wine, and Sin Ekuanon. I was getting more mellow, not senile. And I got a refund from Harlan on all those undelivered crappy vintages that I paid for three years in advance. What a twit I had been. And while I don't think you are a twit at all, I see the angst in what is otherwise a sane and decent man. Been there, done that. There is just so much great juice out there that doesn't make you jump through stupid hoops to get, that let you decide what vintages to buy or not, and how many bottles etc., you can literally fill a huge cellar in no time with classics without playing that artery-hardening bullshit game. And if you just gotta have that special cult wine bottle, well, that's what money and auctions are for. Smoke a fat cigar and be a happy bidder. But you call the shots and run the game. Now you're talking. I've got my own little drama right now. Open to Maggie of 95 Dominus for the holidays. Corked. I own a notion of the stuff. Petrus and Trot too. I wrote the winery, and explained the situation and that I normally let a corked bottle go, but a flawed Maggie of 15-year-old wine at a holiday family gathering was asking a bit much of my patience. Jerks responded to send them the wine and they would be willing to evaluate the possibility of a replacement. I fired them off a pick of my cellar with stacks of boxes of Dominus, Petrus, Trotinoi, and Hosanna Evident, 
and in my absolute most snobby and sarcastic written tone possible explain that they might want to think about my past patronage while they evaluate the possibility. Pardon my French, but c'est moi. I'm being a jerk on purpose, for the fun of it. I hope they refuse to exchange the mag. I know they've done it for others and I'm looking for excuses to slice other pretentious assholes from my list of favored producers. And you know what? I'm smiling because Christian Muix was once my hero, and if this is the kind of folks he is putting in charge of his operations, well, I'm happy to know about it. More money for hard-working farmers in the lawyer. There better be a replacement, and a little sucking up too for my many tens of thousands of dollars. Then I'll think about buying more of their wines. I own wines. They don't own me. When they make me act outside of how I like I am letting them own me. Not happening anymore. It's just not. Uh. Okay. Nice rant. Which reminds me, I have to come up with three bottles for Tex and John's hot tub party. I'd better be going. <laughs>